Hey everyone, welcome back to part 4 of API testing postman series. So in this video, we will learn what is put and patch. So first uh, beginning with that, put it checks if resource exists and then update else create a new resource. So it is simple that suppose we have a request uh, while sending that request while updating a particular record it will check in the database if it exists if it exists then it will update otherwise it will create a new resource of it okay that is difference between put and patch so i i mean the patch is it just updates the record okay it doesn't even check whether the resource exists or not it will just go and update the record so for example and there is one another example suppose we have a json like this okay so which is quite uh, you know having li a little large number of uh, fields right so suppose if i want to update anything uh, say superhero or uh, you know, square name or either uh, name or age only specific fields if i want to update at that time i can use patch Okay, in case of put what happens, I, I will have to send all the data, all each and every data I have to send. It will affect the whole, uh, you know, record. But whereas the patch request will update only the specific record. That is what the major difference between put and patch is. Let's uh, go and get in the postman tool. So here in this, we will consider this put and then patch request. Before that, uh, let us create a new collection in this. So let us say, uh, let us save it as put and patch collection. Okay. Put and patch collection. Okay. So after that, we will create a new request with put request and let's name this as put request okay or else you can name it whatever you want so now let us go to this application and then let's uh, get this particular api this is a dummy api right so we will uh, hit the put api first so slash api slash users slash two right so that is what uh, this api is so after that let us update this we will send the body since these are the dummy apis it might work it, it is working in this way but usually whenever we work in the real environments right at that, that time these validations will be put so much mandatorily and it will throw us an error Now let us uh, change this name to something like testing. Okay. And then we will hit the request. So now it got updated. Correct. So uh, with the put request, we were able to update this particular record. But the difference between put and patch is in case of patch. So this API will be same in case of patch. If I see right, it will be the same API I'll be hitting okay and then uh, rather than sending this data what i'll do is i'll remove one of the field okay and let me uh, change this to something like max okay let me remove this uh, also and now in case of patch it will update this single uh, field also so that is what the major difference is and uh, as I mentioned, in case of uh, real applications or while you uh, hit the real APIs, you will find some of the validations which uh, developers has made. So this is all about put and patch. Hope you have all liked this video. Please do like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.